Corals are being bleached all around the world at a nerve-wracking rate. This bleaching is due to climate change, which is warming the oceans and allowing them to take in excess carbon dioxide. Our oceans absorb a great deal of the carbon dioxide emitted into the Earth's atmosphere, and that number has increased with the rise in fossil fuel emissions ever since the Industrial Revolution. Furthermore, corals are, share a symbiotic relationship with micro algae. This microalgae gives the corals their bright colors. The warmer waters causes the microalgae to break down, thus taking away the corals bright colors, leaving the corals white or bleached. Climate change that is causing rising ocean temperatures, among other problems, has resulted in the death of over 50% of the world's coral reefs in the last 30 years. This increase in coral deaths also happens to coincide with an increase in more frequent and widespread coral bleaching that first started about 30 years ago. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, or NOAA, reports that 22 species of coral have been listed as protected under the Endangered Species Act. This is a small amount compared to the 82 coral species that were initially proposed by the Center for Biological Diversity in 2009, but unfortunately, only those 22 species of coral made the final cut. Sea Reefs was conducted under the Census of Marine Life in partnership with the Australian Institute of Marine Science, or AIMS, the Smithsonian Institution, and the Pacific Island Fishery Center of NOAA. This result of, the pro of this project led the researchers to genetically barcode 170 species and identify 116 new species and three new subcategories of species. The Great Barrier Reef Foundation created a project to restore coral reefs by collecting millions of coral eggs and sperm and seeding them onto coral patches during major spawning periods. The larvae was successful and when the researchers checked on them eight months later, they were greeted by over 100 surviving ju juvenile corals. There are not many laws in effect to protect all corals and coral reefs around the globe. The aim of this act is to assist in preserving coral reefs, promote the wise management of coral reef ecosystems, and develop research on the condition of and threats toward coral reefs.
The depletion of this ecosystem could have disastrous effects on so many lives, both human and aquatic. The most affected organisms by the depletion of coral reefs are the marine animals whose habitat is the coral reef, such as eels, clownfish, sea anemones, groupers, parrotfish, sea stars, crabs, and the list goes on and on. In addition to losing biodiversity, the depletion of coral reefs would also affect human populations that hunt in the coral reefs for their main food source. Overall, losing the coral reefs would create such a deficit in resources and biodiversity that the world cannot afford to lose. One of the most important things to know about protecting coral reefs is that if no one knows that there is a problem with the corals, then nothing will ever successfully be accomplished. Documentaries such as this one and the documentary Chasing Coral show the world what is really happening beneath the surface. When we all come together and unite for one goal, we can make laws and change minds about what should be done to protect these beautiful creatures or else they will be gone within your lifetime.